Now this is a test of this UFO high bay light. It's an F4 model, meaning it is 240 watts. Uh, that, that is the actual wattage of the light. A lot of these things, when they talk about the wattage, it's equivalent wattage uh, compared to something like a halogen or something. If you compare it to a halogen, it's about the same as a 750 watt halogen. But this is about 240 watts. I'll talk about that a little bit later when I make some tests on it. But it's primarily made to be mounted on a ceiling and hopefully a high ceiling because then it'll spread out. It spreads out like 120 degrees. Uh, it does give light in a small area, a little more intense, which for the application I have for it, it's gonna be great, I hope. Uh, but let's take a look at some of the stuff that's on this light and how it works. Okay, right now I've got the light on. It gives me a little bit more light to view it with. It's 120 volts uh, right there. It's adjustable, and I'll show you how it adjusts later. This is a uh, this is cast aluminum. Uh, it it actually does put out a fair amount of heat, not a lot. It doesn't get really hot, but this is a heat sink. Primarily, what that's for is to cool the LEDs. They do build up a little bit of heat. Uh, okay, this thing can be mounted a couple of different ways. This thing right here comes with it. A little aluminum doohickey uh, that screws in there. You can hang it from a chain with this and then run this screw in to try to keep the chain in. It's also, if you're hanging it from a chain, it's got this little safety doohickey uh, that you can put on there in case the uh, chain breaks. I don't know, whatever. Uh, best way is mount it with this. This is a bracket that you'd put up through the, uh, into the trusses of whatever building you're putting it into. Uh, that's the way I have, uh, I will show you that I mounted it. And I think that's the best way. You, this thing is adjustable. You can go back and forth like that. Uh, and I guess that's okay. They say you can mount it on a wall. I don't think I'd mount it on the wall. It's, it's too bright. You know, you're going to get blasted by this thing every time you look up at it. So you really don't want to look up at the light. Uh, LEDs are just that way. That's just how they work. And I'm not saying it's the most brightest thing in the world. Yeah, you turn it up and it's going to blast you. Yeah, they all do. It has a couple of nifty little attributes that I didn't know of until I started fooling with it. Now, I've got the light on the side. And there's this little doohickey right here. Now this, this thing, I will say, this can be mounted outside too. It's supposedly waterproof. If you take this thing off, and look inside, you can see, can't see them very well, but there's a couple of little switches in there. One of those switches is for the color of the light. It can go from yellow to like sunlight. Uh, and it also will change the wattage of the output of this thing. I'm going to demonstrate that with the light on here. It's not real easy to see the difference in the wattages because the camera automatically adjusts for the, uh, how bright the light is. But I will show you kind of how they work. Now here I'm just shining it up against this piece of wood and I will change the uh, the settings there's three that's the lowest wattage that's a hundred or I think it's a hundred watts and then uh, 150 and 250 now you really couldn't tell a whole lot of difference there because the camera adjusts for it but you can tell with the color of the light. Now you see the change in, in the, it's actually the temperature of the light, what they call the temperature. Uh, that is sunlight, that is a little more yellow, and that's a lot more yellow. 
you can change that too. Uh, I tend to like the brightest, which appears to be the brightest anyway, which is the sunlight one uh, right there. Uh, and I'm going to set it up, uh, mount it so that you can see how it, uh, how it mounts and stuff. Uh, and I'm going to leave it at that setting. Uh, before I go any farther, uh, it's got this little dimmer thing, uh, wire. I have no idea if you can get a dimmer for it or what, but it's there. I guess if you had a dimmer, you could hook it up. Now this is where I'm going to mount this thing. I've got a couple of strip lights up here that failed on me, and I thought this would be a great time to put this light in here because what it's going to do is it's going to shine down on this. And that's a table saw mounted into a four by eight sheet of plywood, uh, which old geezers like me like lots of light when we're doing this kind of stuff. So I'm going to uh, mount this thing. If you look close, let's see, there you go. There's a little screws right there. I'm going to mount it there, hook it in, and we'll see how it performs. This is just a quick look up there. I've got a couple of screws there uh, that I have hooked that bracket onto. Pretty simple mount. Okay, this is what I wanted this thing to do. I wanted it to light up this four by eight sheet of plywood with a table saw in it. Right now there's no lights on at all. There is a skylight back there that's giving some light. Now I'm gonna turn this on and Okay, the camera has adjusted for it now. Uh, this puts all the light just exactly where I want it. And because it's a, it's a high light and it does spread out, it makes a wide beam of light. Uh, and it's on the ceiling. As I told you before, I don't really want to put it on the wall because you're going to be getting blasted with that uh, with that intensity of light. Now, if I go up there like that, now you can see it mounted up there like that, and the skylight behind it, you can get some light from that, and kind of blast it out, but then it comes down. That's how it looks, and if you look up in it, it's going to be really bright, so, uh, Probably the ceiling's the best place to put it. Uh, okay, overall, is this a good light? Yes. Uh, I have no idea on longevity, how long these things are going to last or anything. Things you need to know about it, I want to put it on the ceiling. Uh, it does not have a switch on it. So you're gonna to have to plug it into a switched outlet uh, or perhaps a ceiling fixture that you can put a plug into or something like that so that you can switch it uh, remotely from the wall. You can adjust whatever color you want. I think it's from 3,500 to 5,000K. Uh, and you can adjust how high, how how much uh, wattage it puts out from 100 up to uh, 200. Uh, the, it doesn't quite put out 200, it says 240 watts. Uh, it doesn't quite put out that, it puts about, out about 230 when I was looking at the amp draw and the voltage. So the wattage that I read is a little bit different, and I was using an RMS meter, so it should have uh, accounted for that. But it's a pretty good light, and I can see where I'm going to be pretty happy using this thing uh, uh, with the table saw. So that's it on this one.